God sent his son into the world. In fact, John 3.17 tells us the reason. It says that God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. You know, it seems the portrayal of superheroes is evolving. It seems that the behavior that was unacceptable from yesteryear is now commonplace. Is what is portrayed on screen influencing society, or is it the other way around? Well, Oscar Wilde said that life imitates art, and he may be right. According to a recent report from Pew Research, the fastest growing religious group in America is actually the nuns, which basically means that people are increasingly identifying with no religion at all. That is not to say they don't have morals and ethics or do things that are ethical or moral, but there's either no basis or it's individually defined, which brings us back to moral relativism. Twice in the book of Judges, it gives this description of Israel. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. They had no king, no one to judge them. Twice in the book of Proverbs, it says that this type of person is called a fool. It's a fitting commentary in our own modern times. Without a common moral code, everyone will do what is right in their own eyes. The followers of Jesus are not called to be proud, but meek. Scripture tells us